Welcome to iLectures and today we're going to show you how to add and subtract rational expressions. Rational expressions are algebraic expressions that look like fractions and here's a good example. Here's two of those and we're going to add those together and the trick is to find uh, to uh, make the denominators the same. Just like with regular fractions, if you want to add and subtract fractions, you must make the denominators the same. Now, there's different techniques for that. In this case, uh, it's clear that the small denominator fits evenly into the large denominator. And therefore, the large denominator can then be considered the lowest common denominator. So you're going to make every denominator the same as the largest one in this case. So let's do that. In order to make the denominator on the left uh, the same as the one on the right, we know we have to multiply that times 2. And of course, if you do that to the denominator, you must do exactly the same to the denominator. So this becomes 3x minus 1 multiplied times 2 divided by 4 multiplied times 2. And that we add to that what we have on the right side, x plus 4 over 8. Now you can see that uh, if we get rid of the 2s, we end up with what we started with. That's always a good check. Now when we make the multiplication, uh, we have 2 times 3x, which is 6x. Uh, 2 times a minus 1 is a minus 2 divided by 8, plus x plus 4 over 8. So now that the denominators are the same, you could write it as a single fraction over one denominator, one common denominator, which is 8, like so. And so here we have 6x minus 2 plus the numerator of the second fraction, which is x plus 4. And now we add common terms together. So we have a 6x plus x, that's a 7x. And we have a minus 2 plus 4, which is plus 2, all divided by 8. And that's the solution, or shouldn't, I shouldn't say the solution, that's the, uh, the answer. That's the addition of those two fractions. When we say, when you use the word that's the solution, we usually are referring to finding the value of an unknown, like x or y or z or something like that. All right, so that's how you do that. That's a fairly simple, straightforward example. Let me show you some others that are a little bit more compl uh, complicated or more complex than this one. All right, 